Welcome back. You are looking at pictures taken in September of 2017 of the Norse Peak Fire in Western Washington. Tonight, we're going to take you into that fire zone and find out why it's an opportunity to figure out our west side fire future. So what is the science behind our fires? Here's a hint. They're different than the mm -hmm. fires that you see more often on the east side of the mountains and beyond. King Fives Glenn Farley is here tonight with a look at the science of west side fires and how climate change is already affecting the odds of having one. Glenn, good evening. So, so good evening. Here is a graphic that sort of has everybody worry. This from the National Interagency Fire Center. This is the fire outlook for Washington and for the U.S. And here's the key concern. Western Washington, Western Oregon are red for higher than above normal, higher than normal expectation of wildfires. And while we've seen a number of wildfires, almost 300 on this side of the state so far, they have not been huge. The question now, will this red area contain a huge fire before this season is over? And there's actually a story written on that hillside of different ages of forests that date past fires. Dan Donato looks at the trees to interpret this forest story. And you can read that on the hillsides in the background there. He does that by describing the trees that replaced those lost to wildfire over the centuries. And there's kind of a more even texture down near the bottom there of Christmas tree shaped uh, shorter trees and that dates a fire from about 100 plus years ago. And then there's areas of taller, more rough canopied trees uh, that date another fire that occurred about 300 years ago. And closest to us, the most recent stand to burn. It's caught just about everybody by surprise, the fire. 2017's Norse Peak fire blew up less than two years ago. It burned 52,000 acres of dense forest. It started east of the Cascade Crest and rapidly spread to the western side. And so really the whole West Cascades landscape has been a series of these burn footprints. Donato and Josh Holofsky are research scientists with the Washington Department of Natural Resources. The big fires that shape the landscape here in western Washington are a little bit like earthquakes. This is just another one that may not be on people's radar as much here on the west side, but it's still something, a risk of living here. Yes, he said the word big. In 1902, the Yakult burn in southwest Washington torched an estimated one million acres. It was a complex of fires which together stood as Washington's record for 112 years until 2014's Carleton complex in eastern Washington. But it was also the Yakult burn's behavior that's sobering. At one point, the Yakult burn traveled 30 miles in a 36 hour period. You may live on the wetter west side, but that may sound more fire safe than it is. It also means more stuff grows to become fuel. West side summers dry much of that out. But there's another common and seemingly necessary ingredient to get a big west side fire, dry winds from the east. That's what we really want to look at, change in the potential of getting that perfect setup. Crystal Raymond is with the University of Washington's Climate Impacts Group. She says to get a big western Washington fire is like a recipe. Yakult may have been a record holder, but there have been plenty of other examples, and not all of them huge. You need low relative humidity, you need east winds, so a uh, condition in which the dry, warm air comes from the eastern part of the state and into western Washington, and then you need an ignition. The Norse Peak Fire happened north of Mount Rainier. In fact, it even threatened the Crystal Mountain Ski Resort. And it was a classic setup with hot, dry winds coming out of the east behind me. The past can also provide clues to our future. This core taken from a tree killed in the Norse Peak Fire. A burned landscape now serving as a laboratory. Just by a quick visual estimate, looks like somewhere around 300 years is probably pretty accurate. This tree at the upper elevation of that three century old stand Donato spoke of earlier. There are two areas of concern. One, will climate change lead to more giant fires? Two, will we see more smaller to mid sized fires, Norse peak size fires? If we think about climate projections, all the projections are fairly consistent that our summers will be warmer and drier. We have already seen an increase in the number of days per year 
with high fire potential. And Raymond says our west side situation in Washington and Oregon is different than the western U.S. in general. Because most of the information we know about saying climate change will increase the potential for a wildfire in the west is based on this notion that warmer temperatures, drier conditions result in more fire. We know it takes a little bit more unique conditions in western Washington, and so that's the piece we want to fill in, that unique weather recipe that we need here in western Washington to get a big fire. Those strong, hot east winds. That's when you can get a really large fire in a very short amount of time. Yet it's less clear how climate change affects the winds. Fires on the west side of the Cascades are just a different animal than the ones we're more accustomed to on the east side. In some ways, it's not even a climate change question because it's the things we're talking about were in the past and that's just part of how this landscape works. And at minimum, more warmer, drier days aren't helping. So it just means we're loading the dice a bit more. Then there's the human factor. 95% of the fires on the west side, especially, are human caused. It can be that cigarette flicked out the window, a dragging tire chain that sparks, undoused campfires. You don't have many lightning started fires on the west side, but our exploding west side population increases the chance of ignition. And the North Peak fire did start east of the crest, and that actually mm -hmm. was a lightning caused fire. Mm -hmm in the beginning. Well, and I forgot about those dry winds that come from eastern Washington. Yes, yeah. and through the Columbia Gorge, mm -hmm. which right. played a role in the Eccles right. burn, they believe. Okay, Glenn, thanks.